in 2002 with fewer than 200 kiwi remaining in the Kawika Ranges and with kiwi almost extinct south of Hawke's Bay, it was time for action. A combined effort by the local community led to the creation of the Opawahi Pan Pack Kiwi Crash, a predator-proof safe zone for young kiwi. How did the Opawahi Pan Pack Kiwi Crash come about? What happened was we started working with Kiwi in the Kawika Ranges and we were at that stage rescuing eggs from the Kiwi and taking them for artificial incubation up at Rainbow Springs in Rotorua. Local Kiwi scientist Dr John McLennan suggested we could go one step better if we could raise our Kiwi chicks here in a natural setting. So Ecoed began looking around Hawke's Bay for a site that was going to be suitable for creating a pest-free environment. And we chose here. The reason we chose here was we had a range of habitats. It was not going to ever dry up in a Hawke's Bay summer. And also it was relatively easy to fence. It was still a $700,000 project, a big community project, but now we're able to harden our kiwi chicks up here in a natural setting, ready for return to the wild at a stoke-proof age. What about the kiwi education? How do the kids get involved? To a degree, it's new ground. Often the department has done species recovery work offshore on offshore islands where the public can't generally access. But here we're moving into a mode of trying to bring our rare and endangered species into the community. And by doing that, we're hoping that we can educate people about the true value of those species and about the special care they need to have them around us. One of the trickiest things with um, predator-proof fences are the, the kind of weak spots, mm. so the entrances and if there's any waterways. How do you work your way around those? The waterway's tricky, and we're lucky here. We have essentially a ridgeline fence, so we only have to manage the outlet of the lake. And to do that, we have a weir structure, the water spills through a fine mesh. In here we have species of long finial, and we have to allow those out to sea when they decide it's time to breed. So an eel that's, say, this fat, has to get out to sea at an age of about 50 or 60 years old. So we have an eel pass structure that is essentially a drowned pipe, four metres long, that enables the adult eel to swim down that pipe and get through the weir. We allow the public to come here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But we have a door that they can't leave open. It's just a simple sliding door that operates across two holes. Thank you, sir. No problem. Well, that's quite a door. Yeah, it's designed so nobody can leave it open accidentally. And uh, it's also designed, this area is big enough so the public can bring their boats in and out. So if they want to go kayaking on the lake, they can drag them in here and we don't have to worry about the pests coming through with them. Let's say somebody does leave the reserve and they leave that open, then we're open to pests. But the pests can only get inside here and they can't go any further. Plus we have some pest control down there in case. As well as being a vital place for raising kiwi chicks, the Opawahi Pan Pack Kiwi Crash is an excellent place for learning about the outdoors.